Welcome back, Fight Fans. I'm Ami Poli Tai Funk, and I am here to bring you live games from Company of Heroes 2. They're happening right now. You can hear it in the background. There's a game that just started between Vaughn, Ivan, and Jove, and they're moving right now. And guess what? We're exactly eight minutes behind the action. And what that means is you could also hop in game, and you could observe this, and you could be the observer, and you could move the camera wherever you want. And you can listen to my stream and be in sync. Maybe occasional, occasionally, I'll give you a little time sync so that we can be in perfect sync, and uh, you can have, you can, you know, like listen to my voice while you're observing a game. That could be fun, right? We're we're both observers, so come on in and join me, Vaughn Ivan versus Jove. Here we go. It's already happening, and they are exactly eight minutes ahead of us. We are currently at one minute and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's a game on Mink's Pocket. We got Von Ivan playing Okave with the purple trunks, fighting out of the north join, on the pocket of Minsk, a very famous battlefield in World War Your II, orders, a decisive battlefield. The Russians tried to persevere, uh, and here they are. The Russians are being played by Jove. Now, didn't we see him win in our first game of the day? Um, so... We were seeing the victor of our first game versus Von Ivan, one of our top seeds in the last tournament. And uh, Sunday Night no Fight here. Season 5 tied for third, fourth place, I think, with uh, Andy as Rippin, wasn't he? Yes, now he was a semi-finalist, wasn't he? In Sunday Night Fight Season 5, I believe so. OMG Pop versus Von Ivan Eddie. was one of the semi-finals. So, uh, yes, our SNF semifinals playing Okave. That's something that you don't see as often. We see a lot of Soviets played by Von Ivan, but uh, he has made it his, his duty to learn the new factions. He's just going at it right now. Did anybody check Koto.org? Is he streaming right now? You could really do the full media experience. You could watch it in-game. You could watch his stream, but then you'd be way ahead, of course. If he's streaming, then he's going to be eight minutes ahead of us, so you'd have some difficulties. But... Um, yeah, let's see how Von Ivan plays Okave. He's gone. Uh, he's going for um, for Volksgrenadiere before parking. So he wants to have a lot of infantry. These uh, Jove, are, Jove is trying to make sandbags as he harasses Von Ivan's fuel, but Von Ivan is there in time to step into the circle and stop the cap. A lot of conscripts around, though. Von Ivan is going to use the truck to try to push him about, keep him from getting into a good fighting position. You can get away with that for a while, but eventually the truck will take damage. Jove needs to retreat these conscripts. They are in that... Let's see. Is there... No, there's no cover from that uncomplete... It's just standard gray dots behind the unfinished sandbags. So they do need to retreat. But this squad of six versus a squad of three plus push. The squad of three is really hurt. Almost dead. They need to leave. And let's see if Jove will be able to continue his harassment of the fuel. Here come some more grenadiers. What do you guys think of the purple trunks? You like it? It's an it's an obs mode bug. I can't uh, turn off the player colors in obs mode, so we're forced to watch Von Ivan in purple. Um, I would like the option to be able to turn them off and make sure that my enemies are red and blue. But I don't I don't really mind it because yellow and purple look pretty decent. So that's fun. Okay, the, the fight for the field continues. You got an M3 out. It's a pop car now. The flamers are, are, are uh, boarded up. And they're squirting out burning oil from all angles. And Okave has difficulty dealing with this. Will we see some kind of early Raketenwerfer from Von Ivan as we saw yesterday? A uh, very nice play by Fortune. As soon as he saw Tier 1, he, bu he bought a Raketenwerfer. Let's see if Ivan is also so deaf. Ivan has instead elected to go Fortifications Doctrine and bring out the MG34. So that'll keep some of these conscripts at bay. But, man, that's a ripe target for the M3 flame car, which can easily get behind it and flame it down. So Von Ivan really hurting for any kind of anti-tank right now. What's he going to do? He hasn't even parked yet. Man, look at that. He called in the MG before parking. 
So, I mean, the potion's available from the eight, from the HQ, so he can buy one right now, but he's not. What is he thinking? I wonder. I don't know. He's a little pressed. I think he's being, his micro is being tasked. Look at the MG's getting flanked. He's got all sorts of, uh, pro he's got 99 problems. And a, and a bitch ain't one. <laughs> My goodness. He's, he's fortunate that this M3 retreats. Uh, Job's playing for the long game. Uh, do, are we ever going to see... Whoa, okay, so Von Ivan has just decided to park. And, wow, you know, that's danger close. Parking in this position, wow. If he can't defend this position, that truck could be killed before it sets up. I don't know if Job knows that it's there. I guess we should try to check. Here is... Yeah, okay, so he he knows it's gone he knows it's being parked, but he's not able. Von Ivan defends the position well enough that uh, the battle group headquarters is able to set up. So he can get some desperately needed infantry healing, but he still has absolutely no anti tank, and I guess I mean it's just small arms fire that's been keeping this M three at bay. Some capping happening on the wings. It's all in Jove's favor as he picks up the corners of the map. Von Ivan consolidating the middle. He's got a big, big blob of dudes right here. Let's see uh, when he will be able to afford a Shrek. I think maybe he already bought one. Yes, there it is coming up on that squad. So which one is that? It's this squad. Oh, wow. Two Shreks purchased. So now he's fully capable of dealing with that. Little M3, and M3 is going to walk right into it. Whoa, he sees it. Immediately pops the Vet Accelerate ability and he overdrives away and preserves that M3. I thought he was going to buy the form there. I thought he was going to get two Shreks in the face and die. But nice micro from Joe to save that M3. The folks are still giving chase. They're still giving chase. Now, now there's reinforcements to deal with. Now there's, you know, conscripts and flamed up penals. And Von Ivan's not in a good position. And now that he's retreated, the M3 gets to have a field day attacking these defenseless retreating squads. That's one thing they don't fire back. Ever, occasionally they'll do small, small arms fire when they're retreating, but they'll never fire a Shrek, at least as far as I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a like retreating Shrek shot. I don't think that exists. So uh, the M3 was able to pick on him a bit. He could have been more aggressive, but you know, I mean, Von Iman has no other AT, so he could have chased him all the way to the base. But he decided not to. He's playing very conservatively. He's playing safely. He's just uh, using the M3 as an anti-harassment. Now he's going to chase a bit. And but once again, break off. You know, like. He doesn't want to go into the hard point and be surprised by any baddies. He's really putting in as much pain as he can, but Von Iman's doing well. You know, he gets hard countered in these situations, and he and he retreats quick enough not to lose many guys. Look, I mean, they're all getting hurt, but that doesn't matter because he's got battle group headquarters. He can just run up here and get them healed. So losing 50% of a five-man squad is not going to hurt. And how did that happen? Was that a shoe mine? Where's my instant replay? I think these dudes Let's lay... Go! Just a brilliant shoe mine. He knew that uh, Jove was using the M3 to prevent harassment, so he set the bait, and Jove fell for it and walked right over that shoe mine and loses the M3. Uh, fortunately for him, his flamered engineers that now have double vet did survive the crash, and they will be able to retreat and reinforce. We've got an early mortar from Jove. We've got guard motor coordination this time. Interesting. So he's decided to change up his... Commander choice. I think last time he went uh, shock front line for the IS-2, but this time we're doing something a little different. This time we got the T-34 85s at the end of the tree. Uh-oh. MG too close. <laughs> Mortar too close. He's able to flank, though. Let's see. Does he have any goodies? Nope. He has no flame nades. And oh! shot close range mortar i thought the mortar was in bad position but it turns out it was in perfect position to launch the shortest range shot possible and just destroy that mg34 and there are just enough conscripts to capture it von ivan's bumming out on that little uh turn of events and jove is saying Hee -hee, thank you very much i'll take it um ouch that's gonna hurt you know okave is the kind of faction where you, it 
you know, like when you make mistakes, they really, really hurt. Like if you lose any vehicle, like if you go looks and you lose it, or if you go Panther and you lose it, that's just, it hurts so bad. You can, you can lose the whole game on one mistake. They're, they're a very kind of glass cannon faction. And, um, you know, luckily for Von Ivan, losing an MG4 is, is a minor mistake. It probably won't cost him the game, but he can't afford many more of those. Here is a funny fight where nobody's in cover. We have flames at long range against grenadiers at long range. We've got other little skirmishes happening. You know, one thing that Von Ivan's very good at actually is multitasking. Similar to Skirm Tiger Fish that we saw in the last game, Von Ivan will constantly be harassing the map and fighting all over the place. So his multitasking is very good. We've seen that in other games. And we can see a lot of little fights happening all over the place. And Von Ivan able to preserve his squads. The MG34 stolen now and reinforced to six man is a six man MG34 team. You don't see that often. Right? Look at all those dudes. They look just like conscripts. Okay, a lot of fighting happening. Whoa, retreating Shrek up Gren squad. Barely escapes. That's fortunate for Von Ivan. He can't afford many more mistakes. He has gone tier four and he's building a looks. So let's see if he can maximize the potential of the looks. Let's go back to Jove's HQ and see if yes, he does have a teenades already. But, you know, trying to get a looks down with 18 nades is a tall order. It's very difficult. The looks rate of fire is so fast, he can wipe a whole conscript squad, you know, before they even close the distance. So it's all going to be about tactical handling of the looks. Let's see how well Von Ivan can maximize the potential of his brand new unit. Here comes the Panzer Zwei. Beautiful little thing. I love this skin. Looking great. Purple, not so big of a fan, <laughs> fan of the r pink purple, but <laughs> but uh, the, the, the two-tone brown and beige looks fantastic on the looks. These conscripts are outgunned by two squads of Volksgrenadiere. The mortar's plugging away, though. Von Iman's got to keep moving. He's got to be light on his toes. A heavy mortar. Here comes the looks. We want to see how it plays. He's behind the support teams. Here come the conscripts. They're uroing. Ivan sees them coming, and look at that nice micro. He kites the conscripts, keeps them at max distance, and they are not able to get their AT nade off. And that is just simply good micro on Ivan's part. Well done. And now look at this. Suddenly, Okave capping all over the place. Really nice multiple arms from Von Ivan. You know, he's, he's using his infantry to cap. He's using his, his big gun to push back the front line and and scare off the support teams. The mortar had to retreat. Um, very nicely played. All right, we have two tier two and the Zisk gun coming out for the Soviets. That's what they need to try to combat this nasty little beast who just misses some mines. Questionable placement on these mines. And now they're, they're swept, and that means those mines are out of the game forever. Even if they don't sweep them, they will remain uncloaked. And not only do you see where they are when they're uncloaked, but they don't set off when they're uncloaked. So these guys could leave and go home, and then um, Axis units could walk over these mines all day long, and they would never even go off. So it's, it's a really big, horrible bug, and, and I will mention it in every single stream until Relic fixes it, because it needs to be fixed. It was great before, where, where the mines would recloak, and that's what they should do, that's what they need to do. Um, you know, you're gonna, if you if you detect mines, you got to spend the time to sweep them. It's not not enough to just see them. That's no fun. So you got to be able to sweep them too. And, and you know, in, in in complicated combined arms engagements where big armies are fighting over a no man's land, sometimes seeing a mine is not enough. Uh, you know, sometimes getting the sweeper to actually have the room to sweep it is uh, is difficult when it's being defended by other units. Nice kill by the looks, taking out those flamers. Those were the guys that were in the M3 earlier. Uh, okay, this nice camo on the Zisk gun. He's trying to reposition up there, but we've got an infantry engagement that we got to keep track of. In the south, conscripts are dying. Too many folks around. We also have Obers coming onto the field to back up the looks. And as you can see, they look, they did what I said. They just walked right over that mine, and that's so annoying. That mine should have recloaked, and those Obers should have been forced to avoid it or Von Ivan should have been forced to sweep it, but he doesn't even bother to sweep it because he knows he doesn't have to. Okay, there's a lot there. 
Um, Jove moved a lot of units to the south to deal with the looks, and these Flamers managed to chase off the Obers quite successfully. And now, whoa, the looks is in a bit of a corner. Let's see if he can get an 18-8 off. If he can just snare that looks, then the Zisk gun can finish it. But look how hard it is to snare a looks. Look, he, he uras and run towards it, and then suffers tons of casualties, and then has to run back because he knows he's not going to get it off, and he would have lost the squad if he'd continued to chase. And um, Vaughn Ivan is just being a menace, capping around the sides of the map. He's got two uh, squads. It's like Control Group 1 down here and Control Group 2 in the other corner. This MG is facing the correct direction. He knew this would come. And wow, he really opens up on that lead Volk squad. Uh, this mortar could kill them. They've got to be careful. Oh, they're down to one dude. Oh, lots of guys are dying. Whoa, I'm sorry. I know there's a fight happening in the top, but I, I just want to see how this pans out. we got the Obers flanking the MG now. And look at that. Vaughn is able to preserve the squad. Chafe that the NDS. So it's going to be a complete Axis win of that skirmish. And now let's see how this is faring in the corner. It's such a game of cat and mouse. This poor AT gun. If he leaves it by itself, the looks will kite it and destroy it. Uh, he's got to push slowly. He's got to defend it. And now it's getting countered. And this looks like everything's just falling apart for Joe. Uh, Ivan is spinning his head. These Obers have checkmate position on the AT gun. The looks is, is hiding behind some shot blockers. Everything is going right for Von Ivan. This is going to mean all of the map is going to start to turn purple soon. Now the AT gun is low enough that the looks can just pop his head out from around the hedgerow and clear it. Von Ivan could even capture it if he could get some infantry up there in time. The reinforcements are back, though. They're oorahing into the position. They could recapture the AT gun, try to turn. There's enough squads now that perhaps one of them can get an AT night off. He immediately captures. I don't know if that was the best choice because that gives the looks time to re-clear it. He needed to get the 1880 in first. He's running through uh, set up Obersalat and fire. Obersalat is just shredding these grands. The, the, uh, sorry, shredding the conscripts. It wipes out the squad with the assistance of the looks. And yeah, it is just a nightmare for the Soviet side. Everything's going wrong. Jove is getting his, his um, beep stuffed in, shall we say. Prepared for action. A very questionable sh start from Von Ivan. The M3, the, see this is the thing. The M3 could have done a lot more than it did, right? Uh, Jove was just co too conservative with it, you know? We, we, we saw it happening and we were questioning it, you know, like, is he being too conservative or, you know, like, is this going to work out? In Co2, it's often hard to gauge whether you should uh, preserve your units and be conservative or whether you should be super aggressive. And uh, in that situation, in hindsight, we can see that he wasn't aggressive enough. He really missed a lot of opportunities. Von Ivan was really slow to counter the half-track M3, and um, Job did not maximize the potential there and didn't hurt him enough. Um, he hurt him a little tiny bit, but Okave can easily come back from that. And now this is looking GG style. Stolen Zis. Looks never really been challenged. Very nice looks micro. Uh, take note, new players. That is how you use the looks. That was really beautiful micro displayed by Von Ivan. Nobody can 18 me, 18 aid me. I'm too fast for you guys. You can ura and run at me all you like, but I will just keep kiting you and keep killing you. Oberslot in cover, throwing nades. Will Joe see it? Oh, he sees it, but he's too slow to react. That squad is wiped down, and how much of this pain can Joe stand? He does get the T3045, so this is his last hope. His last hope that Von Ivan doesn't have enough AT. He's got two Shrek up Ren squads, but where are they? The T3045s are going to make a push against the Looks. The stolen Zisk gun needs to be in position. The Looks is down. A nice stick by Joe. Very nice. This AT gun never able to set up, never able to get around in. And, you know, where are the Shrek up Grens? Here they are coming back out of the battle group. So, Jove able to do a lot of damage. You know, every time he lost a squad there, when he lost those vetted penals, um, you know, those things are going to come to bite him later. Now he's just being too aggressive. He cannot afford to lose either of these units. They're really all he has. Vaughn I can't find a place to set up the stolen Zis and a big shot. Did you see that blue XP flower? Whoa, a big shot from Jove. The stolen MG34 is getting into position. The T3485 still want to play in this. They, they still like this action. Poker terminology for you. They like the action. They feel like they've got a good hand against them. The, the, the pair of kings beats the pair of queens. But Juan Ivan says, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to catch a third queen in the river. 
this shot's going in. The T-34 85s have to back out. Long range shot? Nope, not going to happen. Whoa, this mortar has been constantly working on the battle group headquarters, and look how hurt it is. Good grief. Where is that little sneaky mortar? Look at the range. Look at that mortar firing in against the battle group headquarters here at Von Ivan's going to try to repair it now. Oh, man. Oh, crummy timing for the Soviets. If that shot had been a few seconds later, it might have killed a bunch of Grens that were coming out. This MG-34 is keeping the Axis infantry at bay. I love these mortar rounds coming in. If you could shoot them uh, just a tad deeper and clear that repairing squad, that would be huge. Von Iman just pushing so much in forward that the MG can't handle it. Now the Panthers on the field, and now Von Iman should be once again comfortable. Where are the T-34 85s? Here they are. Von Iman pushing. He's got three Shrek squads in the Panther to deal with them. They know they're outmatched. They try to retreat. The mortar's hard countered. Whoa, did, did we get a stolen flamethrower? I guess the Penals dropped their flamethrower and it was captured by one of these squads. So they are so filthy, full of anti-infantry, full of anti-tank. There's a little skirmish happening on the top, but uh, Soviets can't win one-on-one -on -one skirmishes against Obersoldatans. It's just not gonna happen. There are no shock troops to even contest them. And Vaughn, once again, looking totally comfortable. There was a little tiny window where the T-34-85s did some damage. They killed the looks, but that's all they're gonna get away with. He needs to spam out more AT guns. It's tough though. There's a lot of a lot of strong and durable Axis infantry. You know these these Shrek squads are nightmares for AT guns. So perhaps he's gonna try to save. I don't know. He doesn't have much fuel, so he can't really save from another tank battle group. Um, Jove's in a tough spot. I, I like the work that the mortar has been doing. You know, sometimes a heavy mortar against Okave can be really powerful when he's got a forward battle group headquarters and you can get some good rounds in against the blob, but Jove was never fortunate enough to get any huge rounds in against. I mean, he did clear that MG and steal it. That's his claim to fame. But I don't think he'll get more than that out of the mortar. I so would not want to be Soviets right now. <laughs> when you see the likes of that army. Now that now they're backed up by the stolen Zis gun, it is looking grave for our Soviet hero, Joe. He does bring in another AT gun. He can he can hear me in the past or the future or the present. Um, does build the needed AT gun. They can both barrage each other with these Zis guns. I wonder if we'll see that uh, when it's a static front line where everything's quiet and it's no man's land often. A nice barrage can, can break the silence. Vaughn Iman's got his units spread across the side. Jove's units are a bit clumped up. He did. He's trying to hold on to the right VP, but even these Sturm Pioneers can kick the sh kick the tails of those conscripts. All right, the conscripts are pushing forward. Big mortar shot going in kills a Gren. <laughs> and there's the barrage against the Zis. And whoa, what a nice shot! First hit. Jackpot, but Von Ivan, wow, he remans it. Okay, it's probably a smart move, but now his grins are really under strength. Oh my god, Jove's going for it. Jove is going for it. Grins are picking up Vet and retreating. The Zisk gun repositions and is getting really nice rounds in, and so is the Panther, of course. And yeah, this is just the, the power of the Panther and the Zis say, sorry guys, but take it back home. We ain't having that. Von Ivan says, rejected. Try again next time. Even without all my Grens, um, my stolen Zis and my Panther can still take care of your pair of T-34-85s. Look at the, look at the Obersoldaten at long range just beating this MG. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Von Ivan coming back all healed up and reinforced. And when those Grens arrive, we might see the final push. Whoa, was that another mine that I missed? A crafty shoe mine in the corner? Brings that T-3485 down, or... I'm not sure what that was exactly. But I think these are the culprits retreating now. They're probably saying, yuck, 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 as they retreat. And the Panther retests to the top. Von Ivan knew that T-34 was a vulnerable target, and... Gets the kill. Whoa! Panther takes a lot of damage. 
but he's able to escape. What hit him so hard at the end? I don't even know. Whoa, what hit him so hard? He needs to Blitzkrieg to escape. And now the now the Ren Blob has found this T-34, and not only have they found him, but they found his rear armor. He's desperately trying to micro like a madman to, to disrupt the squads. Two of them retreat. One remains. Oh, Joe's going to save that T-34. I thought it was dead. It's quintuple vet. Folks, Grenadier Squad is going to nade and shrek the heck out of that Zisk gun. <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it is hanging to life, clinging to life. But a few more little bits of anything and it will be down. <laughs> oh man, the double vet T-3485 is brave enough to take a shot at these quintuple vet double shrek reds. Look at them running forward with two shreks. And Vaughn figures he's done enough damage, he doesn't want to get chopped up by infantry or anything. And he just retreats. He's cool. When you're ahead, what should you do? Get more ahead. That's taste, taste tosis, artosis, and tasteless. Oh, Vaughn with the Stuka. That's the, like, manor, manor troll unit at this stage of the game. I think Vaughn pretty much knows he's got it won, and now he's going to show us some fireworks. If you missed the show on uh, Sylvester, that's what the Germans call New Year's Eve. If you missed the show, Vaughn Ives is going to provide some fireworks for you to celebrate Celebrate uh, 2015 being rung in. Come on, Vaughn. Fire away. Let's go. Let's see what you got. He's just waiting for a meaty target, and one lone conscript squad is not enough. Now, when he sees this front line, we should see the shots go right across here. So, come on. Let's go, Stuka. I'll give you a portrait and everything. Are you ready to fire? Come on, Stuka. Look, I got you all framed up. Come on, that's a meaty target. What's up? Why are you why are you making me wait? Come on, here we go, Stuka. Here we go. Watch. Look at this for fireworks. All right, we're watch it fall. Big boom, bam, fireworks. We have no idea how much damage they did. <laughs> All we see is smoke, but we can see the mortar falling. We can see the remains of the allied army. Panther pushing. Shrek up Grenz pushing. T-34 about to fall. And uh, GG, the towel is thrown in before we watch the Panther deliver the killing blow. Well played, Von Ivan. Good game. We got to see one Stukutsufus. Let its rockets go into the air with the super duper Photoshop lens flares happening, directed by J.J. Abrams. Uh, we can we can chalk one up on our scoreboard for our American player, Von Ivan, one to nil. Well played. I think I've got a few more games in me, guys. What do you guys say? You want more? You want more Sunday night fights? We got 284 in the chat. Let's see if we can get 300. How about some tweets? How about some retweets? I remembered to tweet today. You can retweet me. I would appreciate that. I really appreciate retweets. That would be great if we could get five or six retweets of my tweet. If I say tweet again, I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, we'll go to the break and see what else we can find. Love Nest, how about you get out of chat and get in game? How about that? What do you say? All right, we'll see what the top 1v1 auto match game is, and we will be right back. Take you to the break. <laughs> 